everyone and welcome back I'm host today Mr. Mobile and uh, today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the voting system from Among Us or a voting system that will do you for an Among Us game now this is what I've done so far I'm still working on it 100% so by the end of it this isn't going to be how it works this is just my practice one that I done, but it works still the same. So let's pretend this is the emergency button. Here we're voting. You've got vote one, vote two, vote three, vote four. See, so yeah, I clicked vote four, and then once the timer goes, that there goes, and that'll do that sixteen times. Yeah, that there could hurt your head. Oh boy. But um, yeah, once that finishes I try not to put it on the screen in case there's yeah I see it brings a player four voted and then these here have reset so yeah that's how that works and then when we get in the tutorial I'll show you how to make it so it dumps the person out and all that there when they're voted so let's get to it Alright everyone, so before we actually get into video, I wanted to say the original creator of this type of voting system was called Cross McPenna. So um, I'll leave a video link to uh, their video, and yeah, you can go and check out theirs. They do all these tutorials and trailers and all that. But anyway, thanks a lot for help me figure out how to do this voting system but yeah anyway I've done a couple tweaks to make it a bit more Among Us styled there's no skip to this one um, and there's also no tie right now anyway there's no tie it's just whoever was voted first out of the tie is the one that was chosen so yeah anyway this is what you're gonna need so you're going to ignore the one in number one, but you're going to need a button. Let me just um, change that to that. You're going to need a bum. You're also going to need a trigger. You're also going to need a timed objective. And teleporters are for whoever gets voted out. So you won't need that right now. And lastly, you're going to need a sequencer. Now let me just place it here. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've just placed that there because um, I might forget on how to do this, but um, anyway, let's get into it. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you want to get to the button here, and you're going to want to make activating team any times can trigger infinite, delay doesn't really matter about any of that. This here you could say um, start emergency meeting. And a um, button, you can change that to whatever you want and all that there. So when it gets to, say, interact with, we'll transmit that on 100. And now this here is actually put on 100 as well. And that's just so the players teleport into the boxes, but I'll show you that later. So that's really that all set up. Now we're going to get to the timed objective here. If we go into here. We'll make it um, start when receiving from channel 100. Now time, you can put it on whatever. We're just going to put it on 10 seconds because we need to keep it as short as possible. And this um, vote now, because why not? And we'll keep that in bold. You can change it to whatever you want. We'll put it in bold orange, sure, why not? Um, hologram, doesn't matter about that. Doesn't matter about that. Put it on reset, I would say, because you need to put it on, act on reset actually. But anyway, um, enable doesn't matter about these, none of this matters because you're not going to see this. Um, and yeah, that's all you have to really do, have to do to there. Once you get down to here, when completed, transmit on 99 is for me. So that there is already going to activate after clicking this. These two things are. 
So um, next is the tough part. So I'm just going to copy and paste these here over because I can't remember how to do it myself. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's the first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to put this on transmit every X triggers to 16 times. This is so you can get to the max amount of players. But depending if you want to make it more like Among Us, put it on 10 if you want to. Delay one second, that's optional. I just put it there because sometimes it can bug out. But anyway, um, reset triggers when receiving from 98. That's a big one. That is a very big, big pointer there. And yeah. So like, say when... So these have all really got the same setting here. Once one of them goes off, it'll set off 98. And then 98 resets all of these and also stops sequencer. So anyway, um, that's mostly all here. Trigger when receiving from channel 1, and when triggered from channel 5. You may be asking, well what is that all about? Well if we come on up here, and we grab ourselves the buttons. Just bring them down here a wee bit. Say we came into, is this a, yeah this is the vote 1. So when you click vote 1, it will be channel 1. And once you've done that, it will have a reset delay of 30 seconds. And that's just so you can't just spam click number one. But you will be able to click any of these. You could vote for all of them if you really want to. But um, it depends then on everyone else. So anyway, these are channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. That's channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. And this one I've only made for four people, but you can make this all the way up to 16 people as I said before. So next what you're going to want to do is you're going to come into the sequencer here. And you're going to want to make it looping on infinite. And this tempo you're going to want to put it all the way up to 180 is it? Yeah 180. Length, doesn't really matter what that is. I'm going to put it at 0.5 to make it nice and short, make it a bit quicker. Width doesn't matter, height doesn't matter, zone direction doesn't matter, activation type doesn't matter, zone visible during game doesn't matter, this 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 doesn't matter, uh, start sequence when receiving from, this is one that does matter, you're going to want to put that on 99, and stop sequence when receiving from 98. And that's because 98 is another trigger, which is these four triggers. If we bring them over here. So, see, say one of these goes off, and it, so like this one here, when trigger transmit on channel 5, then this one's done channel 6, when this one's done channel 7, and when this one's done channel 8. And there is a reason for that. Each of these. Trigger when we're seeing from channel 5 and trigger 98 and it's the same with these but channel 6, channel 7, channel 8. And these here, is just because we have 4, is just because there's 4 of those in different channels. And yeah, that's all we have to do there. Now this bit here, this is just the, um, the bit that says who's voted out. So you don't really have to do much to these guys. Just have to make it say what message you want and the time from round start. Make sure that is off. That's a big one. Make sure it is off. Um, showing receiving from channel 5. Ignore this one. This was something I was tweaking on. Trying to make a tie kind of um, system. But I'm still working on the tie thing. So there might be a second part to this when I finally figure out the time the time tie thing um so yeah anyway but that one's channel five and they're all the same but says player vote to two channel six player voted three channel seven and player voted four is channel eight and that's really all you have to do here but you just cop you just place these here into here and that's that done and we can remove these here now because I've already copied and pasted them all. So that doesn't really matter. 
Now, um, if you're going to want to teleport people up, this is what you're going to have to put in the mutator zone. So you're going to just just put yes, allow weapon fire because it can bug out sometimes and make you not be able to it. And that's a pain for the imposter when they can't swing their pickaxe. And yeah, then the game's just broke. So anyway, zone width and depth's 100 just so it fills the whole map up. Enable that game start. Put this on no. Enabled when receiving from 100. Disabled when receiving from 99. So when you click the button, it'll turn that on. And then when this timer finishes, it will turn it off. Um, on player entering zone, transmit on 97. And then that's what teleports you in each of these. So this is also one you got to look out for if you're going to put the teleporters here. Put teleporter group none and teleporter group or teleporter group none and teleporter target group on none you can turn these on and off if you want to but the main one is teleport to and receiving from 97 so when that picks up the player it will put them in here so anyway that's the entire voting system but now we're going to make it so um say player four was voted or player three two or one was voted then they will go in the middle here uh, or else they'll teleport like above the lava and then they will fall in and fall to their death in the orange juice anyway let's get into that so as you see down here we've got barriers now this is optional i've just used barriers here so i've put them on translucent so you can see the borders Zone shape is hollow, so people can be inside of them. Um, and barrier height is just two, so you can be up here. You won't be able to walk out of them. It's just because we are in pre-game. So next here is the mutator zones. So allow weapon fire once again, yes. Zone depth, three. Enable the game start, no. And that's because I haven't set them up yet. And that's because we're going to do that now. So... Basically, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to make it so when each of these is triggered, so eight and um, down, so eight's this one, so enable from eight, so we'll put that there to eight, put this one to seven, put this one to six, and put this one to five. And uh, yeah, and then if you're going to want to disable them later on, you're going to want to put them, say, under. Well, we could actually put them under 98, because it's going to teleport the person anyway. So, yeah, we'll do this here 98. I think it did 98 and all, didn't I? So yeah, those are all 98 now. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab a, another teleporter here. I'm going to place that down. Now we're going to go into my island through channel browser. And we're going to see what ones haven't been taken. So 96 hasn't been taken. So we're going to go into teleporter here and teleport to when receiving from 96. And then when we come on down to here. Um, on player entering zone, 96. On player entering zone here, 96. On player entering zone, 96. And on player entering zone, 96. Now let's see how well this works. That should be it all completed. So start the game here. Those there are locked up, so you can't walk in or out of them. Um, we'll come on over here. Start emergency meeting. We get teleported. And yes, this is actually completely random. So, vote, oh, vote now, vote one. So I'll vote for myself. And then, as you see, that's voting for those. I don't know why it's making that noise. That's a bug with that thing down there. And... We'll just wait. Play one vote it, and it uh, takes me out of the room. So there you go, guys. That's the voting system. Pretty simple indeed. Now I will be adding this into my map, and then that will be my Among Us map done.
So um, if you have got any suggestions on what you'd like to see me do the tutorial on next, go in the description, join a Discord server, and leave it in the suggestions for the clan and if you have any for the server put them in the suggestions for the server as well or if you don't have discord leave them in the comments that is perfectly fine i read comments every so often when they bring it up um and yeah like subscribe and i tell you some people we've got some more big tutorials coming out soon so click the notification button put it on all so you can be one of the first to watch it and yeah guys, Aquaman here is going to do a, a wee dance here and I'm going to say bye bye and Bob never even made an appearance. Right.